Hey, Shazam15 here. This week's review is This Means War. Now, overall I found this film rather entertaining. However, it has its issues. Right, so, plot summary. Because I always start with that. Right, basic plot is you have some CIA agents who cannot stop a covert operation from going over it. This is an issue. So they get grounded at home. While they're grounded, the British guy, I don't understand how there's a British guy in the CIA, but okay, decides to try and get his love life in order. And he does this by applying for online dating. Anyway, the girl that is picked for him, he goes to meet at his favourite pub, and his friend is round the corner for moral support. So, he enjoys the date, he loves the date. She goes to get a video from the store around the... from the shop around the corner. And bumps into his friend. She also likes him. Now, they both discover that they like the same woman. They set about a somewhat... I don't know, put this... Eliza doolittle gentleman's agreement that they won't sleep with her and whoever wins after two whoever she prefers after two weeks or whenever she picks they respect her decision now meanwhile their big overt operation that they screwed up at the start of the film starts bearing fruit as you have a German guy who's after their blood he eventually tracks them down, long finale, bloody bloody blah. Anyway. More than anything, the core of this film is a heavy bromance dynamic to the point of being positively vomit inducing. There is too much bromance in this film, it's ha <laughs> Oh boy, it's just Ooh. And the key dynamic is the fact that the bromance has been somewhat damaged by this romance because they keep on using company equipment, which is a big no-no, to do stuff they shouldn't be doing, such as, well, spying on her and spy while they're on each other's, while each is on the other's date. And you know, it, they're cover it up with the investigation that they screwed up earlier. It's staggering just how much people are letting them get away with this. But then again, that's the suspension of disbelief, though. But somewhat it does stretch it to a little bit beyond breaking point. Uh, their covers are fairly awful. One's a travel agent, one's a um, cruise ship captain. Right, what else is there on? I have to argue against the casting for this. Although I really want to be in the British guy's corner the entire time. Could they have found an uglier British person? I don't think so. He's hideous. Right. That's... So basically there's a casting issue, there's a bit of a storyline issue... But overall, it's rather entertaining. It's very American humour, I will point this out. It's very, very, very much American humour. Uh, that's about it, really. It's got some major errors, but overall it's quite enjoyable. Anyway, uh, so I suppose that's... I know, B+. Plus. B. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, that's that. I'll see you next week. Did you have